Today we're gonna cover some interesting news from the world of computer graphics, from new Blender add-ons and updates, 3D contests, the latest software releases, new job opportunities, and more. Side Effects Labs Tech Art Challenge Recently, a contest called Tech Art Challenge 2021 was organized by Side Effects Labs to give the Houdini community an opportunity to compete with each other for different prizes by creating Houdini digital assets that can be used within it or inside game engines. The contest will run until the deadline of September 30th, 2021, before midnight. The participants have to add a thread for their submission in one of the two categories, the best game art asset or the best Houdini utility and they have to upload their work following certain rules. As mentioned before, the contest has some cool prizes presented in these rewards for both categories. Houdini FX plus a swag pack for the first place, Houdini Core plus a swag pack for the second place, Houdini Indie and a swag pack for the third place, and a swag pack for the honorable mention places. Advanced Rigging Modules Add-on This is a great rigging add-on that has been launched recently and it seems very promising. Armature Rigging Modules is a Blender add-on that provides module rigging for nearly any armature, which can be as simple or complex as you want it to be. And you can do this in a short period of time compared to what the guide system takes, in addition to all the advanced scripted mechanics. It is able to install the rig to characters that consist of smooth IK, automated IK, FK switching, and a number of helpful functions for palms, legs, toes, spines, and the head. The add-on looks promising already, and it will be getting more updates, further additions, and further development as time passes according to the developer. And a real procedural post-apocalyptic pack. A game artist has launched a new stunning update to his Unreal post-apocalyptic pack. The pack was designed with blueprints to allow artists to edit and keep it up to date for future engine versions. Not to mention that its construction system allows users to install interiors with different components as well. As a matter of fact, the pack features a set of functions to make walls, roofs, sidewalks, stairs, pillars, flooring, and numerous scattering systems, decors, debris, and so on, in addition to nearly 200 variables to enable, disable, and change. Redshift is now available as a subscription product. Redshift, the render engine owned now by Maxon, popular among motion designers and visual effects artists, is now available as a subscription product. The developers stated that offering Redshift via subscription promotes continuous development and maintains compatibility with different DCC applications and hardware platforms, including NVIDIA's CUDA, Apple Metal, and Apple Silicon. Also, they assured Redshift's functionality and performance are fully based upon third-party hardware and software solutions. Maxon decided to stop selling perpetual licenses, but current annual maintenance agreements will be kept renewable till August 31st, 2023. They also mentioned that the subscription pricing doesn't come with a lot of difference compared to the former annual maintenance cost. City Builder 3D New Procedural Buildings Light Architect, the developer of City Builder 3D add-on, has released new procedural assets to the add-on in addition to a ton of high-quality building assets that already come with it. For example, there are different packs that include Hong Kong buildings, derelict, Soviet architecture, futuristic buildings, metropolitan, and more. These assets have really nice details with different variations like windows, entrances, balconies, and more. The add-on is a huge time and effort saver for the Blender users because you can build an entire city with ease with much less effort. Not to mention that the add-on is being expanded constantly with new building assets. Naughty Dog is now hiring for their new game. For the past few console generations, Naughty Dog has cemented itself as one of the industry's most ambitious and successful developers and now they are working on a new project with the studio's first standalone multiplayer game and they are looking for different specialists to join the development. They are seeking out exclusive professionals with high potential to enroll in the development of their new game. They are looking for people who are good when it comes to gameplay scripting, level design, system design, and more. In this Naughty Dog's first standalone multiplayer game, they are striving to get the same level of ambition and quality of their signature story-driven games to this unique multiplayer project. Milo 2021.2 Update 
Milo is the new real-time renderer and VR model viewer based on Unreal Engine and recently NeverCenter has released Milo 2021.2 with new features including improved rendering quality, better reflection, ray tracing improvements concerning the noise in the shadows, in addition to adjustable camera field of view, and there is also a new set of menu-like pixel scale for better support for HI DPI displays, and the viewport now supports a higher resolution. Also, the user has the ability to improve the frame rate by adjusting the pixel scale. There is also field of view adjustment to control the rendering window's dimensions without changing the resolution, and a new added live spin feature that allows rotating the model through the Z-axis for showcasing, and it's called the live spin because whatever the user changes in the model, it will be changing in the viewport while the model is spinning. Also among the latest updates, there were some bug fixes like crashing when the model has multiple materials. Blender add-on Turbo Tools Recently, a new Blender add-on has been released, and it is called Turbo Tools. For now, it has real-time compositing features where the user doesn't have to spend hours trying to get everything right in the 3D viewport, re-rendering every time. Instead, most of the work to get the rendering looking incredible is carried out in the compositor. It has automatic catching during the playback and rendering. Turbo Tools also covers one of the most requested features for Blender, which is resaving a file output node without having to render the 3D scene. This feature isn't limited to single frames, because the user can actually resave all frames in a single click. Moreover, it has interactive performance settings that make the user able to reduce the burden of his system until the FPS reaches the required speed using quality nodes and the interactive playback quality slider, plus it controls the resolution of cache files for further speedups. A new AR app for teaching the piano. Magic Keys is an application similar to the video game Guitar Hero, but using the piano instead of the guitar. It is an augmented reality and mixed reality application for Oculus Quest that is designed to teach easy piano pieces in a short period of time. It allows you to play simple pieces on the piano even if you don't have previous practice or experience. This was possible thanks to the feature Facebook recently released that allows developers to use cameras in Oculus Quest to create augmented reality applications. The developers started working on it about two years ago, and at the beginning, it was meant to be a small augmented reality application, then he ported the application to HoloLens alongside some primary enhancements after he realized that it could be of real use. He also mentioned that his ultimate goal is to develop a fully featured virtual piano teacher. Maverick Studio and Maverick Indie, the physically based GPU renderers for industrial designers and entertainment artists, were updated by random control. They have got updates to the built-in denoiser, which now supports an image resolution that can reach 8K. Another notable update released recently took place in August 2021. Random Control has released Maverick Indie 2021.4 and Maverick Studio 2021.4 as well. It came with updates to the Shadow Catcher, used to generate separate shadow and reflection layers for a 3D object when compositing renders into other backgrounds. It allows generating quality mirror-like reflections regardless of the background, and should give better results with pure white or pure black backgrounds. Also among those updates, new options for orbiting 3D models when navigating a scene, including the option to define the focal point of the orbit by clicking on the model surface. Also, the software's turnable system can now be used with any rotational axis, which allows generating turnable renders that combines horizontal and vertical rotation. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.